This is a real quick setup video. I have this setup going slow just to show, but you can run any speed you want. This system will dispense pretty fast, so I recommend you find a speed you like. It doesn't have to be going bonkers. So real quick, the system will mount to a piece of extrusion, as you see, with the larger bracket lower and the other bracket higher on the same side. These are mounted with an M5 bolt to a T-bolt that goes into the extrusion. The extrusion will mount to your press. I don't provide the bolts and I don't drill the holes. I will give you the extrusion. You can do it yourself. A wood bit will suffice. And these are quarter 20s. Um, that being so, that's the press. You can see the angle. This angle is what we're going to talk about really tuning. And that's carried with this carriage bolt. I mean, this uh, uh, um, turnbuckle. So real quick before we dive into that. You'll, in, you'll install your spring as shown, and you'll run it down to your dropper. I give you a spring that's about twice as long, so you get a chance to figure out what you want. But you will trim or have to cut this spring. You want, On a 750, 650, you want it to be taut. A little loose, obviously, but taut to drive a system. On a 1050, 1100, you'll be looking for more of a spring coil similar to this for the tool hip progression. Outside of that, it's really the only difference between the two apparatuses. All right, so real quick, we're gonna talk about tuning. I'm gonna start by throwing some Brass Monkey 135s in there just because they're more dramatic. And I'm just gonna show you some action. And we're gonna turn this up just a hair faster because I'm mean. So with the angle, what you're looking for is you want the round, an upside down round, at the very top here where my finger is to drop down, capture, and then pull the nose out. So see how this one did not go out that way? That tells us that our angle is too steep. So you want to push it up just a little bit. See that one at the top? It's just barely not there. I'm going to keep going. I'll empty the bullet feeder here in a sec. Still not there. And you're going to keep doing this. And you're increasing the angle. So you're growing the turnbuckle to get this angle. And, and it will be pretty noticeable. You start seeing it occur. So real quick, notice how, notice how we have, when we just flipped over, that means our angle is too steep. We're not steep enough, so we want to come and pull it back. Well, oh, sure your case dropper's full. So. You're just going to play that angle. You're really kind of watching them until they get just perfect. You'll see a little bit of a head nod, and that's kind of what you're looking for. Yeah, there we go. So, just play that angle. 